Hi everyone, Jeff Bolton here with Squared Up. Hope you're doing well. Wanted to uh, share with you another how-to tutorial on setting up uh, and uploading videos to your YouTube uh, channel and account. Our first video, uh, if you watched it, covers the uh, initial setup of YouTube and, and some branding. So now I'd like to uh, walk you through uh, simply how to upload a video and some cool features and tools that YouTube has really implemented um, as of recent. So I'm here on my home page in my YouTube uh, account and I'm gonna uh, come over here to the top left and I'm gonna drop this arrow down and you wanna go right into the video manager. And so when you click in video manager you may or may not obviously have any videos in here assuming you don't have any videos it's really simple to upload a video so once you record it uh, and save it to your computer you can then come into your video manager here and in the top right hand corner or left hand corner here is upload and that is where you're gonna click just real quickly here in your video manager you have a playlist so you can create a playlist of videos you'll show your history of your searches and videos watched anything that you've tagged to watch later will be right in there your favorites and likes um, this is their newer layout and um, if you're on the old one when you first log into your video manager it will uh, give you an option to switch to the newer version I like this newer version of the the video manager layout it, it is uh, laid out a lot easier and has some great little simple uh, quick links of stuff that you can uh, look at and we'll cover that here in just a minute um, so I'm going to click on upload video takes you to this spot here if you already have the video that you want you can select it from your computer you can upload multiple files at a time and something that's really cool is you can record right here from your own webcam so as a golf professional if you wanted to record a tip and you have a high definition webcam you could do that right here by pressing record and go ahead and record the tip and uh, it's already going to be in the in your YouTube here and then you can make edits to it and I'll show you kind of how you can trim and do some different things like that so it's pretty cool uh, most likely you're probably going to want to use if you have your high definition camera video camera and record your tips that's the better option but if you don't have one uh, YouTube provides this option right here for you so assuming we've already recorded our video we're gonna select the video from our computer so you go ahead and click on this button here and uh, go ahead and select uh, the video I'm gonna select one here and I'm gonna click open and it's uploading that file now it's going to take some time four minutes so while um, it's doing that and I'm not going to wait the whole four minutes I want to show you um, here once you have the video uploaded here's where you give it um, its title so you'll want to oops uh, jumped on me you want to go ahead and uh, create a title right there and then give it a description right in this box and then right here you can tag the video so you're gonna wanna put keyword tags such as um, you know if you're giving a putting tip every single tag you can think of that's associated with putting you'd wanna put in here along with like your name and your company name um, so that's pretty cool you can do that there while the video is is uploading um, right over here is the privacy settings so if you wanna put it public or private or unlisted you can do that you can also choose the category um, that this video would be associated with so um, doing that is going to uh, be very helpful for people to find um, find the video as well uh, just use standard YouTube license there and once you your video is uploaded and you add those titles description and tags and category and select the privacy settings you can click save and once you've saved then you can uh, go ahead and come back into your uh, video manager so I'm gonna X out of this and I'm gonna come back into uh, my video manager because I already have this uh, this video um, uploaded right here so now once you have the video uploaded um, 
excuse me, one step back. Also in that previous section, you'll be able to select the thumbnail. It gives you about three different options of thumbnails to choose, and you can select that. You can only do that once the video is fully uploaded. It gives you these different thumbnail options. So once you're back into your video manager, right here you can edit the video if you need to re-edit it again and add diff additional tags or descriptions or change the, the title to it. And then you can see right here you can change the thumbnail um, if you wanted to and change it to private or public. Um, the other thing in this edit section here is um, you can create your location right here, which is, is it's kind of cool, but uh, not 100% necessary. And then you have some other options um, uh, down here that you can play around with with that video. Um, so let's go back to our video. If you make changes, make sure you hit Save Changes. Um, so we'll go back to our video manager. And, and now the video is here. It's public and it's live and uh, you can watch it and, and make sure everything looks good. Um, here it tells you if it's private or public. Um, over here also shows you how many views at a quick glance and if anybody's put any comments. So it's a really cool uh, layout that just easily gives you data and stats um, at a quick glance. Now with, with these uh, videos, uh, obviously you're gonna wanna upload as many videos as possible that are good content and relevant. It's going to improve your ability to gain traction to your brand. And along with that, you will have the ability to, at some point, um, start allowing ads to be placed on your videos. And to do that, you have to sign up for an AdSense um, account. And once you sign up for an AdSense account, then you can be approved, and then you can start uh, monetizing, is what they call um, your video. So I'm actually going to switch over, and after you have um, some videos uh, uploaded, show you how you can monetize and get set up with um, AdSense and start earning uh, additional revenue off of your videos uh, passive income uh, revenue it's pretty neat so under I'm in my our squared up uh, account here and under settings after you have videos uploaded and some views associated with that those videos this new um, item will appear over here under your settings is called monetization so when you click on that for the first time um, you will have the option to um, get started on monetizing your videos and basically it's going to walk you through these four steps to get an AdSense account. Once you follow these four steps you'll receive an email confirmation that you've been approved for AdSense and then about 24 to 48 hours later you'll receive approval from YouTube that you um, can now start to monetize your videos. Once you receive that approval, again, and you're going to need some videos in there and some, some views in order to, to open this option up. Um, once you have been approved, you can come back into your video manager and next to all your videos will appear a new icon and it's a money symbol and when I hover over this money symbol it says not monetized when I click it I can monetize certain videos um, when you do click this I'll go ahead and click this this one right here um, this screen pops up and asks you do not monetize or monetize with ads so I'm gonna select monetize with ads and you have a couple different options of advertising options. You can enable overlay in video ads, which is traditionally what you see when the video uh, starts playing. There's like a transparent ad that appears on the bottom that allow, allows you to X out of it. Um, you can enable true view in-stream ads, which gives users the option to select ads if they want to see them or not. Um, so it's kind of a cool feature and you can read up more about TrueView um, and we're going to go ahead and enable TrueView. Um, down here is really important. 
uh, for YouTube in order for YouTube to approve this particular video to receive monetization and, and ads through um, AdSense, Google Ads, and as well as YouTube Ads, they need to make sure that you are the one that owns all of the material, graphics, images, music, um, everything associated with your video has to be royalty free, meaning that you, you could not have grabbed a famous top of the charts um, music and and have that playing in your video if you have not received uh, exclusive permission that you can use that uh, music and most likely that wouldn't be the case with the top chart music uh, music um, on out there in the uh, uh, in the field today so <clears throat> you have to make sure that you are the owner of all of the graphics and the material is 100 percent royalty free so you'll go through this and let them know yes there's graphics and pictures so you'll select yes if you have background music you'll select the music and then if so you'll need to provide them the details about that music now if it's royalty free music you can just go ahead right there and just type in royalty free music and then in this bottom section here they want you to describe a little bit more about your video if you marked yes on any of these so um, you can go ahead and then and then put your description in this in this box right here um, indicating that you own all the graphics you've created them and if it's just you giving a video tip then you really don't need to check any of these up here because it's just you giving the video tip and there's no other graphics associated with it if um, we here at Squared Up created an intro and outro for you, then you would select graphics. And if we did music for you, you would go ahead and, and select those options just as I showed you and then put the appropriate data here. And then you go ahead and click Save Changes. Um, I'm not going to monetize this video. I just wanted to show you how you can do that. So I'll cancel out of that. And once it's monetized, um, it still kind of goes through an approval process and they'll go ahead and approve that and start putting ads on there for you and and that happens very quickly and and then you can start monetizing on your video so it's pretty exciting you wanna you'll definitely wanna take advantage of that as soon as you start getting some videos uploaded and views towards your videos so that is a simple tutorial here of how to get your videos on YouTube start uploading start monetizing them and start sharing these videos uh, throughout your entire social media now again in the uh, previous video in the settings you most likely have already set up and uh, linked your social media to your account here and if you've done that anytime you upload a video it's going to automatically indicate it on Facebook that you've uploaded a video and as well as Twitter and um, you can also go and, and write a post on either of those uh, social media accounts about the video to try to get more traction to it. Um, you definitely want to uh, get people and views on those videos, especially if you have them monetized. It'll increase your um, your revenue sharing there and uh, some passive income that's kind of nice. And uh, Jeff Ritter talks a little bit about this in the 5 Must Do's ebook. Um, if you haven't purchased that, please go to the 5 Must Do's.com and uh, you can purchase the ebook. Um, and take advantage of all that good material that we put together for you. Uh, thanks again, guys. Appreciate uh, all your support. Again, if you ever need any branding help with any of your uh, uh, your website or your emails, uh, if you want to create your own ebook or your e-blasts, uh, give us a call. We're here to help with anything that we can. Take care. Have a good day.